Hey guys and welcome back to another match day vlog. Today not sure way to Brentford in the third round of the FA Cup. Yeah, we actually made it to the third round of the FA Cup for once. Just shows what you can do with a good manager and a good owner. But yeah, up early for this one, up at 7am. Uh, first time on the supporters coach for me. Supporters coach on the way there and on the way back. It's an early start. Liam Noble's back. Can we cause an upset? Who knows? Anyways, come on Knots. Come on you pies, let's do this. So we're here at Toddington Services. Um, I think we're about around Luton or something, I've no idea. That's the last signpost I saw before we got here. Yeah, optimistic definitely, because it's the FA Cup third round. Anything can happen. Alan Judge might be back for Brentford. Liam Noble's back for us, he's in the squad. Yeah. Big game, Griffin Park, and this is it's a, it's a good opportunity to go to Griffin Park as well because they've just had obviously planning permission accepted to go to build their new ground. So yeah, it's good timing to have an away trip to Brentford. Right, so the team news is out. My. Sorry if you can't hear me, a very loud tunnel back in the away end at Brentford. Yeah, the team news is out, it's as it's a normal team. Hawkridge is in on the wing now, and Alessandra is up front, four is on the bench. And Yobi is still out injured. Liam Noble is on the bench. Apart from that, it's a it's a normal team. No no, no new injuries to have put on. Come on, Knox. We start then this does Knox County representing by number 34, Rosford Simons. Number two, Matt Tootle. Number four, Elliot Hewitt. Number five, Richard Duffy. had two good chances to start with but Brentford have come into the game more as, as the game's gone on they just had a really good chance Fitzsimmons has produced two good saves to keep the, the bees out so far so it's half time it's Brentford nil Notts nil Brentford have had most of the chances in the half Notts have had a few good ones Stead smashed one over the bar early on Alessandro Grant and Jones have been linking up really well yeah, both had a few good chances. Fitzsimmons kept has produced some really good save, but apart from that, it's still a stay on the here at Griffin Park. Not many clear cut chances in the game, it's mostly been pass, 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 both around the back line, and not many real clear cut chances that have, uh, have been happened. But we're too reliant on one ball at the minute, it's too long ball up to Stead. We need to get it down on the ground and play a bit more. What a goal! Killed it right in the corner! It's almost the 80th minute mark, it's still 1-0 knots. Brentford have been piling on the pressure with Botley and Noble on. They've got, they've got Canos, Watkins and Alan Judge all on. This is going to be torture for these last 10 minutes. God, Smudge. That bloke deserves a standing ovation today, he's playing really well. 
minute, I think there's about four minutes added on, and knots are holding on for dear life at the minute. Make it yours, Ross! Yeah! Knots yeah. are absolutely brilliant this second half. The defence really has stood firm. Oh, please hold on. Oh, oh! Play the low ball! services I didn't get to do one of these coming out the ground because there was a lot of fans coming out the ground and didn't get time to do it because we had to catch the coach back but yeah a really good performance by Knott's solid in defence we matched Brent for the for fitness and you know really good performance in the defence Brisbane and Duffy quality and Stead were a great goal you won't see a better goal probably not a better goal this um, round in the third round of the FA Cup a really solid performance stuck out it matched Brentford um, in, in terms of fitness and quality, we stuck in there, we grinded the result out and it was a really, really good performance and one of the upsets of the uh, third round, um, the other being Peterborough beating Villa 3-1, but yeah, a quality performance by Knox. The left side as well was fantastic, Jones and Grant and Alessandra really connecting really well, well played Knox. So we're back in Nottingham, uh, Yanis, three things, number one, raked the shots, coaches out of ten. Eight and a half to nine. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, really, com really, really comfortable coaches. Uh, right the UIM at Brentford. You were in the standing section. Yeah. Uh, it's about 
about three, four. Yeah. It's just a normal ground. Yeah, it is. Sa same with the um, sitting section as well. Not much leg room in front, but when you're winning one nil, it's really fit. And uh, I forgot, I forgot what the other thing I was going to ask you. Was oh yeah, the way the uh, services we uh, were dropped off on on the way uh, to from Griffin Park. They weren't bad. Good job. They got about seven. Yeah, services won by. Yeah, what a day, you guys. We're going to the fourth round. So we are back from Griffin Park. A long, long journey. A lot, a very long day as well. We've got put seven. Um, long coach drive down including stops and everything and on the way back but yeah it was worth it what a day what an away day a 1-0 victory against Brentford the championship team wow this club this club has just it's just transformed over the last 12 months wow got to go through the team today Ross Fitzsimmons what an exceptional performance keeping us in it um, keeping Brentford out a few times in the first half uh, in the second half as well, keeping them at bay after we went 1-0 up. Matt Tootle was solid at right back. Dan Jones had a great game on the left, as well as George Grant, who also was on the left of midfield. They linked up really well with Luis Alessandro. John Stead was magnificent up front, and that goal was absolutely beautiful. A beautiful left-footed shot into the goal. A killing effort. What? Just, John, John, I know I, we, we criticise you. As fans, we criticise you, but that was special. But yeah, uh, midfield was solid. Yates was Yates won everything he had to in midfield. Hewitt was all right as well. Uh, the centre backs were solid, did their job, and also Hawkins didn't have a bad game on the right. He linked up well with Stead. But yeah, this is, these days are what football's all about. These days are what being a football fan is all about, and not. Not sons have deserved this after all the. T uh, not sons have des deserved a day like this after all the turmoil and all the toxic atmosphere we have been through the last few days. Not sons have deserved today something like today a one 0 victory. Just th these are what moment. These are what. Um, these are moments football. Football is made for like these. These are moments where we fans what we live for. What a day a one 0 victory away at Brentford uh, from the Championship. What a day to be a Knots fan. If you enjoyed the vlog, give it a like. Comment down below your thoughts on the game. Stay subscribed if you're subscribed. Subscribe if you're new. Be safe. Be champions. And as always, to